Good morning, friends. This is Miss Patty with Samuel's Public Library for Good Night Sweetheart Story Time. So it's that time of year in December that all kinds of happy, fun things are going on. I know you're excited. Maybe you have a Christmas tree up. Or maybe you have other fun family traditions in your household, but I just want to say, I hope you have a beautiful Christmas season, that your holiday celebrations go beautifully, and that you are well and healthy. And who knows, maybe we'll get a little snow and you can play outside. So... And maybe this is the time for opening gifts at your home. Everybody does things in their own special way in their families. So whatever you do, I hope it's full of happiness. So I have a couple of stories for you to prepare for slowing down and getting ready for bed. So the first one is called for all the stars across the sky. By Carl Newson. At the end of the day, when the sun is fading and Luna is yawning, We've had some beautiful sunsets like that here too, haven't we? It's time for pajamas, teeth brushing, and climbing into bed. At least this time of year, the sun isn't still shining when it's time for bed, right? Makes it a little easier. Now close your eyes, says Mama, and we'll make a wish for all the stars across the sky, big and little and bright. Here's a wish from me to you before we say good night. I wish, says Luna, that we could fly like birds. Did you ever think that? I know I did. Be kind of wonderful. So let's be birds, says Mama. Let's fly by mountaintops and over patchwork fields. Just you, the clouds, and me all the way around the world, says Luna, and over the deep blue sea. Can you imagine it? Take your mind and think about what that would look like. Now I wish we could swim like fish. Let's dip and dive, says Mama, among corals in every color. Just you, the whale song, and me. Oh, wow, says Luna. I feel so small. The ocean is so big, isn't it? Now I wish I was even smaller, like ladybugs. Let's catch a ride, says Mama, exploring the vines and the twigs and the mud. Just you, the crickets and me. See, think about if you were tiny, tiny, littler than a dandelion, going for a ride on a snail. <laughs> That's kind of fun. And raspberries would be as big as a basketball. Let's creep and climb, says Luna, to the top of a dandelion that's as high as the sky. Oh, I know. Should we be big again? Go for a ride on a butterfly. I wish we were really, really big like giants. Let's gaze over treetops, says Mama, and stomp loudly down the lane. Just you, the birds, and me. What would that be like to be bigger than the trees? 
let's stomp, stomp, stomp all the way home to our giant's house because even giants sleep sometimes. And our giant's bed is just the right size, says Luna, just the right size for you and me. Is your bed just the right size for you? I bet it is. At the end of the day, when the sun is fading, and Luna's eyes are closing, it's time for turning out the lights, snuggling into bed and dreaming sweet dreams. Mama tucking her in. For all the stars across the sky, big and little and bright, Here's a kiss from me to you as we say good night to you. Isn't that a sweet story? As you're drifting off to sleep to imagine traveling, if you were flying like a bird or as big as a giant. I have another story for you as you hopefully get Settle down and ready for bed and a new day tomorrow. This is good night world. And we shall see if Miss Patty can say good night correctly in other languages. You'll have to bear with me. Good night world. When the day is at an end, up to bed we'll go. The sky becomes dusky as the night begins to grow. When the bright golden sun sheds the last of its light, we turn to each other and we say, good night. In Mandarin, we say, one on. Can you say that? One on. Good night. In many parts of China, that's what they would say, one on. In a warm, bubbly bath, we build towers of foam. Rubber ducks bob along as we sail our boat home. Then wrapped in a towel, all ready for bed, we get our good night and a kiss on the head. In Russian, we say, spoko noyo chi. Can you say that? Spoko noyo chi? In front of the mirror, we jostle for space, we splish and we splash and we make it a race. We wash up and file out and turn off the light. We're ready for bed and we all say, good night. In Italian, we say, buona noche. Can you say that, buona noche? The teddies are tired and the trains don't run late. So the toys next adventures will just have to wait. We clean up our things. We make everything right for more fun tomorrow. Until then, good night. In Finnish, we say, huva urta, huva urta. Can you say that? If you lived in Finland, that is how you would say good night. When we're far from our loved ones and it's time for bed, a phone call replaces kisses on the head. The voice says, good night, and we don't feel so far. Our good night finds you too wherever you are. So if you had to be in the hospital because you were sick or you're somebody special to you, like maybe your grandparents live far away. It's nice to be able to say good night over the phone, isn't it? In Swahili, we say, Usiku Muema. Usiku Muema. That is how they say good night in Swahili. When we're all here together, we laugh and have fun, telling jokes, sharing stories, till the long day is done. 
Isn't that fun to be with your friends and tell funny stories about your day or once upon a time? And soon it's time, so we turn off the light. In a chorus of one voice, we all say, good night. Sometimes with our cousins or other friends, maybe on your birthday, you have a friend sleepover. In Spanish, we say, buenas noches. Can you say that? Buenas noches. Good night. Tonight, there's a tale from a faraway place with pirates, a princess, a journey to space. And slowly but surely, our eyes start to close. We get our good night and a kiss on the nose. In Arabic, we say, Tuspa a la care. Tuspa a la care. Can you say that? Good night in Arabic. When we've all spent all our time just running about and the day's wild adventures have worn us right out. We're carried up to bed, we're already asleep. We get a good night, but we don't hear a peep. Does that happen to you sometimes when you fall asleep? You get carried to bed. In Hindi, we say shabratri. Can you say that, Shabratri? Good night in Hindi, India. We doze in a tent by the light of the moon. Trees rustle above us. We'll be fast asleep soon. Under blankets of stars, we're snuggled in tight. In the peace of our tent, we whisper, good night. In German, we say, gute Nacht. Can you say that in German? Gute Nacht. It's a little bit like good night, isn't it? When those precious sweet dreams just don't come right away, like the Sandman got lost or his plan went astray, we can be patient and count all those sheep before long. Good night will be followed by sleep. In French, we say, bonne nuit. Can you say that? Good night in French, bonne nuit. Bedtime something that everyone shares from children to chicks, from bunnies to bears. We all get tucked in from big to the small and say our good nights one by one, each to all. In Korean, we say chai jai yo. Can you say chai jai yo? Good night in Korean. In a faraway place. When the bright sun is set, up to bed we all go. We cuddle up close when the moon is aglow. We share the same stars that twinkle by night. We all have our dreams and we all say, Good night. Here we are. So good night to you. I hope you sleep well. If I don't get to see you at the library, I hope you have a wonderful holiday with your family, doing all the special things you do. If you do have a chance, I hope you can come to the library and say hello and we'll help you find good books. We even have a lot of Christmas books, a lot of holiday, different holiday books, all kinds of books, winter fun, snowy books. So take care and good night. Bye-bye.